Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another pen for review. This is an unboxing and review. And this is uh, a pen that uh, has actually been probably over a year in the making. And this is a, a collaboration between uh, Den at Den's Pens and also Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies. Now, Derek has managed to get hold of some Carolina Pen Company uh, poured material by Kristen called The Clock Strikes 12. And then has, in this collaboration, made 11 pens. So this is a limited edition one of only 11 pens, but it's a collaboration between Den at Den's Custom Pens and also Derek at Stonecock fine writing supply so this is a, an interesting pen i'm sure so i think i'm going to actually unbox this on camera now uh derek at stonecott normally uh puts these uh lovely fountain pen nib stickers on the blue tissue paper and unfortunately no matter what you do it's always going to rip off so uh, i'm going to try and save that i do like these fountain pen stickers so I'm going to try and save that one, clean it up, and you'll see this lovely blue uh, paper here. So I will just remove that out of the way. And you'll see here there is a Dens Pens wax seal here, and uh, this does say a broad nib. So if I unbox this, uh, this is how the pen will come. So if you do buy this from uh, Derek at Stonecrop Fine Writing Supplies on his website, this is what you will get. So it comes in this lovely blue felt-like uh, pouch. And uh, if I remove the pen, this is the pen. Now, before we go uh, any further, I want to actually show you that you will get a certificate of authenticity there. So uh, this is pen number one of 11, uh, and it says this is a certified founding pen. Identified herein is an original limited edition pen designed and made by Dennis Hum of Dens Pens. The material is a Brooks blank from the Carolina Pen Company poured by Kristen called Clock Strikes 12. The pen identified herein is one of 11, and you have uh, Dens Pens here, and there will be a signature, I'm sure, from Derek here as well. Uh, but uh, I managed to to uh, receive this pen uh, from Den, actually, just before he shipped it to Derek. So this is the pen, and I have to say, I, I think uh, I, I know why Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies wanted this material in uh, a pen and to be custom made, because this material is actually quite nice. It's got some lovely blue, cloudy-like swirls in it. Uh, it's got uh, some, I want to say, almost like glitter to it. it. I don't think it is. I think it's it's more, you can see it in the white, that there is a texture there of almost like chatoyance there. But it's uh, quite an interesting material. So you can see these blue swirls there. Now... You'll see on the cap as well that the cap uh, isn't actually, it's a little bit wider than that of the body, but there is a bit of a roll stop here on the cap. So a little bit of a slant. Reminds me very much like of the uh, Zeus uh, from uh, uh, Den at Den's Pens, uh, although this is more rounded off. So you can see there that it's a little bit of a flat uh, angle there uh, and uh, it's supposed to sort of aid in in not having the pen roll on the desk and I think it does kind of actually do that quite a bit uh, there is sort of like you'll see that it does actually stop itself rolling now if I unscrew the cap um, I'm actually noticing here as well that there is and this is what actually stops it from rolling more there is a flat edge on that cap 
And you can probably see that flat edge there if I rotate it a little bit on camera there. You can see the light reflecting off of that flat edge. So that actually stops the pen from rolling completely. And I have to say uh, that's quite nice. And you've got the, the tapered down part on the opposite side as well. So if I unscrew the cap there, you'll see uh, it does have a Bok nib. Uh, this is a steel nib. Uh, the, the Bok nibs typically do not actually have the, the, the sort of size or nib width uh, stamped on the nib. Uh, but uh, Den has put on this, he's marked it as a broad nib. And uh, you can see there it comes with an ABS plastic feed. Has a slight concave section there. So uh, I do like concave sections because it stops your fingers and thumb actually rotating and moving down onto the nib and feed and getting your fingers a little bit more inkier than they should. Uh, the section is quite a longer section as well. So I think that actually makes it feel more comfortable to me in the hand. Uh, in terms of the length of the pen, you can see there it's actually quite a nice length as well. Now this, uh, if I unscrew the cap, or sorry, the body here, you'll see it comes with uh, an international converter there. Uh, this is a Beaufort uh, ink converter, but you'll see there that that is actually uh, a cartridge converter pen. There's a lot of threads there to the body, uh, but that actually makes the uh, body uh, screwing on a little bit more secure. Now, can I post the cap? You can't. It's not designed to be posted. So if you are a cap poster, then maybe this pen uh, won't be for you. Uh, but uh, typically, I do find that I don't need to post my caps. Uh, I only post my caps if I uh, have a very short pen and, and I feel the need to post it. Uh, I'd have to say, in terms of the material here from that Kristen has poured, uh, from the Carolina Pen Company, the material is actually a really nice a sort of chatoyancy color there going on between blues, whites. I want to say a little bit of purple there as well. It actually is a really nice material. Uh, in terms of the the shape of the pen that Den has created here, uh, very interesting shape. Uh, I do like that sort of uh, 45 degree angle slant there that's rounded off so it's not as sharp but I do actually like the flatness of the cap here now that in itself is quite good because it will stop the pen from rolling around on the desk so a brilliant roll stop there I think from from Den uh, I think the polishing of this pen is to a really really good uh, quality and standard uh, it's really shining nicely on camera so uh, I have to say this is a beautiful pen and uh, that that is uh, a pen uh, collaboration from Den at Den's Custom Pens and Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen fully capped, we are looking at 150 millimeters in length the length of the cap is 68 millimeters in length so it's quite a long pen really 150 millimeters now the length of the uh, body here to the tip of the nib we are looking at 100 and about 137 millimeters in length so again it, it's what i would classify as an oversized pen it's not a pen that I would uh, want to post the cap on uh, being this size. It's actually a really good size if, if I want to hold it in the middle of the section there. If I wanted to hold it more down to the nib, if I wanted to hold it up here on the threads even, it's actually a really nice size uh, pen there. So I think with that, let's do a weight check. Now, the full weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just over 24 grams in weight. 
the weight of the cap we are looking at just over eight grams in weight and then the weight of the pen we are looking at just over 16 grams in weight so that is actually a nice weight of pen what do i like what do i not like about the pen well there really isn't anything that i dislike about this i, I do I, I love the material that that derek has, has picked out i love the um the shape of the pen as well uh the cap does protrude a little bit more there than uh it would do on some caps uh the issue that you have with a a cap where it is flush is that the section is going to be a lot thinner or narrower uh so i typically do prefer a cap that doesn't actually line up with the body because otherwise the section is going to be quite thin and narrow so there really isn't anything i dislike about this pen i i think the material is good i think the quality of workmanship in turning the pen is good as well and uh, i think this is going to be a really good limited edition pen so i think with that let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a ryan Crusack legend 16 in the dragon slayer we have a London Pen Company, Christopher 15, and this is in the Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation 1. We have another London Pen Company, Christopher 15, in the uh, Jonathan Brooks Ghost Koi. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize in the Sparkle in the Garnet. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize, and uh, this is in the Sparkle in the Tanzanite. We have a Dens Pens and Derek at Stoneclock Fine Writing Supply collaboration, and this is the Clock Strikes 12. We have another Estabrook SD Oversized Sparkle. This is the Cosmic Wine. We have a Gravitas Sentry in the Skittles, a Gravitas Sentry in the Raw Brass, and we have a Dens Pens Fafnir. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So this is the, uh, uh, I'm going to put Dens, Pens, and Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. Now, this is uh, a, a material uh, from the Carolina Pen Company, and uh, it's called the Clock Strikes 12. Now, the nib in here is a uh, Bok, and it is a broad nib. It's a steel Bok nib. Now, the ink in here today, I have put Pelican, Edelstein, Topaz. Now, in terms of line variation, this is definitely putting down a broad line. Can I push it a little bit harder? I can, I can certainly coax, I would say almost a double broad out of this. And you can see there the figure of eights. And if I do some more vertical lines here, you can see there's no hard starts or skips. So for me, that is a really good uh, tuned nib out of the box. Now, in terms of ink wetness, let's have a look. So this is quite a wet writing nib. Uh, and I have to say, it's a very, very well-tuned broad nib. Uh, it's it's a smooth nib, smooth writing nib, uh, steel nib. And I have to say, it is quite nice. So I think with that, let's go and take another look at the pen. So I have to say, I am uh, really intrigued by this pen. Uh, only a limited edition of 11 of these pens are available. So if you do want this pen, I would suggest that you get it 
fairly quickly because 11 pens worldwide, this is going to sell out fairly quickly. Uh, it, it is a beautiful pen and I, I do think it's a, a, a beautiful material as well. Now, if you're interested in the price of this pen, the price will be around about 195 UK pound. Uh, and it will be available at uh, stonecartfinewritingsupplies.com. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a lower thirds banner here so that you can see that. Uh, uh, that will take you to Derek's website. The pen will be available on the website very soon. So uh, do keep a lookout for that because this pen is going to sell fairly quickly, I would think. So there you have it. That's the review of the collaboration pen from Den's Pens and also Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. And it's the clock strikes 12. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.